this video we will talk about anatomy of teeth. We chose a different kind of presentation, so we hope you like it. So we know that many of us don't know how, how much teeth we have, what is the form of our teeth, what is the name of the teeth we have in our mouth. So in this picture you can see the upper jaw and the lower jaw and you can see every tooth name individually written. We can say that permanent teeth are 32 in total in our mouth. So in groups we have two frontal teeth, central and lateral, one cunning, two premolars and three molars, that is on each side of the mouth. So every grown-up person has these teeth and we, can, we should keep them healthy as long as possible in our mouth. Next, let's say a few words about baby teeth. So baby teeth are uh, in a smaller number than permanent teeth because the groups of premolars are missing. So babies don't have premolars in their first dentition. Uh, in total, babies have 20 teeth in their mouth. You can see here in the pictures the upper jaw and the lower jaw and the voids in between the teeth that uh, at babies this is normal to be like this. I know that for every mother it's important to know when it's normal for the baby to start growing teeth and when it's normal to lose them. So on the right side of the picture you can see written for every two separately when it's normal to show up in the mouth and when it's normal to lose it. We probably will have a special video for this but I want to say that every baby tooth is important because they are called uh, keepers of space and they are very important uh, for permanent teeth to be healthy and for the growth of uh, the jaw of the baby. In this picture I wanted to show you how every tooth looks isolated from your uh, mouth. I know that if you are not a dentistry student or a dentistry doctor, you probably don't know what all your teeth look like. You should know, you should know that they are all uh, individual, that none of them looks like the other, so that they all ha have separate characteristics. Here you can see the form of the crown and the number of roots each uh, tooth has. Sometimes there are variations of, of these forms, but mainly these are the teeth that we all have in our mouth. Let's start with our main subject. So uh, this is how the tooth looks like, the part of the tooth that we can actually see and the part of the tooth that we can see in our mouth. So this is the crown of the tooth, this is the part we can actually see in the mouth, the root of the tooth and the neck. The neck and the root of the tooth we can see them, except if we have some pathology in our mouth, but this shouldn't happen. All of these parts are built from different tissues. Uh, there are three basic heart tissues. First, we will start with explaining the enamelum. So the enamelum is the white part of the tooth that we see. This is the hardest tissue in our uh, body. Then we have the dentin. The dentin is actually responsible for the color of our teeth. It's right underneath the enamelum. Here on the picture you can see a small part of the pink gum. So we know uh, what the gum looks like in our mouth and we know that they have to be healthy and we have to keep them uninflammated. And this is the pulp. Uh, the pulp contains nerve and blood vessels and the pulp is important to keep the tooth alive.
and this is foramen apicale where uh, the nerve and blood vessels come into the pulp. We also have the bone, this is the alveolar bone, part of the maxilla or mandibula, depends on what tooth we are talking about. And this is the last picture, it contains all uh, what we said before, except we, uh, here we have shown the cement, the third heart tissue and the root and the opening where the nerve and blood vessels come into the pulp. And here you can see um, uh, better how the gums look like and when, where they are positioned. In some of our next videos we will show you uh, how to keep your teeth clean and healthy as long as possible. So thank you for watching, if you liked our video don't forget to subscribe so we know you're watching and we hope you like this form of presentation.